A Metro North train on the Park Avenue viaduct in East Harlem, but is it a risky ride? The MTA says the elevated tracks are now showing alarming signs of distress and increasing noise levels. Now, in order to fix it, the agency says some of the existing structure must be rebuilt. But as CBS 2's Elijah Westbrook tells us, there are concerns from residents about the impact construction could have. This is where seeds are planted. No sunlight required, just growth far from the day's light. We're talking about the Urban Garden Center here on 116th Street and Park Avenue, literally nestled under the tracks of Metro North's Park Avenue Viaduct, built in 1893, according to the MTA, the only railroad's artery to and from Grand Central. But to make room for construction expected to begin as early as summer, Dimitri Gatanis's 20,000 square foot business and others, plus some public parking, will have to temporarily relocate. It's like walking the plank. You know, you don't know what's going to happen. Now, I remember hearing a lot of business owners on 2nd Avenue really complaining about their, you know, their existence during the 2nd Avenue subway uh, um, project. The MTA says the repairs are needed now because the viaduct continues to show signs of major wear and tear, including cracks at one point in the barriers as long as half a foot. Markings in this photo show the increase in growth from year to year. A safety concern nearly a quarter of a million weekday riders pass by, according to the MTA. The project will replace the entire stretch from 115th to 132nd Street, but but phase one will focus only up to 123rd Street, which is expected to begin this summer with a completion date of more than two years from now. I certainly am not happy about it. I do not think it's a good idea. I think it's going to only harm us, but I have to trust uh, the best I can to, to, to get through this. The $382 million project, well, may be an inconvenience to business, but Katanis says he is looking forward to the reduction in local noise and vibration once completed in 2026. In East Harlem, Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News.